All right, we've got a little project to do today. We're gonna to take my brother's Pivot Mach 5.7. It's got a normal seat post on it, and we're gonna install this Fox Transfer dropper post. Should be a pretty easy process. I don't foresee it being hard, but you never know with this stuff and doing it, doing it yourself. This is the Kashima coated model, 125 millimeters of travel. My brother rides a medium-sized bike. And I also have the two by three by left side remote. It's got the Fox fork with the Kashima coat. And uh, this is gonna be quite a nice addition to round out the bike. Okay, let's start reading here. Okay, now the first step is gonna be to actually get this lever on here. So it's scratched up the carbon bar a little bit because I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing uh, wrong at the moment. You know what it is? When I dropped it, I put it in the wrong spot. I put it in the bottom when it should be up top here. Live and learn. You guys can watch my mistakes. Okay, step two. Insert the seat post into the seat tube. Step three, tighten the collar. Don't go too tight. It can adversely affect the action of the seat post. Route your cable housing from the lever to the seat post with the largest bend radius possible. Looks like a good bend radius to me. I'm gonna mark this spot with my fingers. <laughs> I just bought a green Sharpie today too. Okay, now we're gonna pop these uh, ferrules onto the end of each side, nice and easy. And, and don't cut the zip ties that come with the uh, cable housing because you can use them on the bike. I, for whatever reason, I was about to cut them off, but I just slipped them off easily. And uh, good thing to open these zip ties up. I've got kind of just a, a really small little head screwdriver. Once you push it through the back, those teeth can no longer engage and you can pull it through. So I'm sure for a lot of you guys this is the first time seeing my channel, stick around. Uh, check out some of my other stuff after you're done with this video. I do all kinds of ride videos. The mission of this channel is to ride the best trails in the world. So if you actually love riding and not watching somebody install a dropper post, check out my other stuff. So there's probably some genius trick to doing this, but I don't know it right now. Okay, so I got an idea. I shifted into the hardest gear, and now I should have some play in this cable. Pull this cable out, if I can get it. All right, that should be out of the way enough to get my zip tie on. Okay, zip ties positioned here and here. They are good to go. Now I just need to commit and uh, zip them in. Make sure we've got a decent bend here. Need some baby fingers to do this. Looks good enough for now. All right, next step, I'm gonna lightly lubricate the cable here. I'm not much of a, a clean freak, but putting this stuff on, I don't want it to get all over my skin. Pulling it through, get a little coat on here. Good to go. And it says to start routing from this end. So now that I'm all greased up here, take the glove off and just get it on my hands anyways. All right, now we've got this thing inserted in here. Like so, and I'm gonna pull on it from the other side. Get it seated in there. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna put the barrel adjuster on. And it says to make sure that it's all the way clockwise, so it is right now, which is all the way tight. This is what it looks like when it's out, so we want it all the way tight, clockwise, in. Ooh, it's a little greasy. Okay, it's pulled in nice and tight. Now I've got the cable. Pull it through here. And I believe it needs to get routed down through. Yep, right through here. 
try to get this loop out of here. <laughs> no loops allowed. Lots of grease coming off this thing. Starting to look a little bit too big out here, so might take it down a notch. So I'm gonna pull the cable, not all the way out, but enough of the way out so I know it's not gonna get chopped here. And I guess I'll just cut off about that much housing, right? Because that's what I had estimated. Push the cable back out. Okay, let's get this cable back into the remote. I've already got this kind of kink in the wire. <laughs> so I'll just use that to my advantage. Okay, this is looking pretty good to me and it seems very functional as well. That's key. So now I need to get at this pinch bolt that's right under here and that will tighten this whole thing up, keep the cable in place. And right now I've got no access to that. So let's uh, loosen up the front de derailleur lever here and then maybe even the brakes. Just throw it down, it's all right. And boy, oh boy, is it nice and warm in the garage today. Taking it all off. All right, now let's see if we've got enough clearance to actually see what's going on. It feels very odd in here. This is just such a weird angle. Okay, that finally feels tight enough now. So now we're gonna press the lever down five to 10 times and do that all again. And it looks like I've got way too much slack in the friggin' lever, god damn it. I thought I was pulling pretty tight and I wasn't. All right, now, got it nice and tight, hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now that is supposed to take out any slack. Then we're supposed to loosen and tighten again. Uh, we don't have any cable slack. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So now we're gonna cut the cable, leaving approximately eight millimeters at the end. That is exactly eight millimeters right there. I'm gonna to try to snip a little bit more here. I don't know if I can even get access to a little bit more. Mm, that was kind of funky. Sprayed a lot of metal <laughs> around. So I've got this little cap that came with the kit. My newly splintered cable here that doesn't like me very much. So I did fine when I made that first cut, but then I decided to make the second cut and I frayed all the wires. So now I have been battling this for more than 15 minutes and it's a big waste of time. Okay, so I've got it on with one straggling piece. Why would you pay someone to do it when you could do it yourself? Oh man, whew, got it. Get your ass in there and don't come out. All right, let's put this stuff back on. Looks good, feels good, fantastic. Can't catch a thread to save my life right now. There we go. That's it. Saddle's on. So I got to thinking about the dropper post being so slow and then I realized that I've got these barrel adjuster, this barrel adjuster here. So I just pulled this, I just uh, uncorked this a little bit. Then the extra tension that this creates, this little, you know, what is that, a quarter of an inch 
actually makes the dropper post go up a lot faster. So that was just my bad of not pulling in on the cable hard enough and really getting all that slack out. So now that I did the barrel adjuster, I'll show you that the uh, seat rises up way faster. Not bad at all. So before I hit you guys with my final thoughts here, I have to give a shout out to WorldwideCyclery.com. They help me out with the dropper post. They have tons of good info. Check them out. They are a bunch of real young guys that live in SoCal and have a bike shop, but then they also sell online. And super knowledgeable about all this stuff. You do the little online chat, call them, and they will help you out. So like if you're not sure what kind of dropper post you need, what kind of internal, external routing, if you need this or that, like super gear related questions, hit them up. They, they know what they're talking about. So they were also cool enough to send over a coupon code for you guys to go on WorldWideCyclery.com, get a dropper post, get a helmet, get some pedals, you know, get a new chain, get a one buy, do whatever you want, 10% off. I got the coupon code right here, check it out. So if you go use the coupon code, it supports the channel for sure. If they see a bunch of people went onto their site and used the coupon code, they will be very happy. They'll be more willing to support me and have me make more videos that you guys love. So the transfer dropper post install was not that bad. I mean, a dropper post, how hard could it be, right? But I still made a bunch of little mistakes along the way that you guys could uh, laugh at me about, but hopefully my mistakes are your gains. I'm not gonna put together videos that are just perfectly, uh, perfectly shined up and polished around the edges. I just show everything how I see it. You know, if I ride and I crash, I'll, I'll leave it in most of the time if it's funny. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you out on the trail.